If you would like to find out what you can post on your social media profiles, on Facebook and Instagram in particular, how to read data and understanding numbers, this video is for you. Stay tuned. I will show you how to use the cello process that I came up with in order to make it easier, more enjoyable. It will help you to create action steps in order to create content on your social media posts in this particular case on Facebook and Instagram in order to attract new customers, new leads and grow your business. My name is Inga Dexner. I'm the founder of of Magical Creators membership and Magical Creators live events. It's a business growth platform for intuitive entrepreneurs. So let's dive in. How can you read the data? Before we move to Facebook business page, because at the moment you can't read data on your Facebook personal profile. I will be taking you through the cello process and cello process gives you easy steps, how to work with your numbers on monthly or even better on a weekly basis. Cello stands for collect your key metrics, evaluate your numbers, do it with love, no judgment. What can you learn? Organize your work for the future based on the acquired information. When you come to your business page, you need to switch to business experience. And here you go to professional dashboard. It will give you overview over the last 28 days. And sometimes it can be enough. But what I want to guide you to straight away, you go to Meta Business Suite. And my recommendation, use it quite often because Facebook is gently and insistently pushing us to use Meta Business Suite more as our working tools when we interact on Facebook. And you will see the insights for the last seven days straight away. And at the collection stage, it's enough, but I would invite you to click on insights. And here we will go through, um, you can see your reach. Without the reach, you can't get engagement. So it's important metric to look at and the snapshot gives you your best days or when people engaged more with your posts. Facebook suggests that you post frequently and consistently. And this is the suggestions that I often recommend, especially if you want to learn more about your audience. When you set yourself for a 30 day challenge, when you post every day consistently, you will see how people are engaging with your content. And it's, it may seem like a huge task, but it's much easier than you think. And if you join Magical Creators community, we have a special content creation workshops where I can show you how you can quickly create your content that would allow you to be consistent. There is a link that you can check below. When we look at the results, you go to content. And when you look at the content, you filter through through posts and it will allow you to see consistency because at this point it's important to see how consistent you were and if you post occasionally once a week or once in a fortnight first of all you don't have enough data to make to come to the conclusion what will work on your social media platform and secondly your audience don't see enough of you to be able to react to engage with your content. And when they don't engage, your organic reach, which means unpaid reach, it goes down. So in order for you to understand what content brings the most reactions, you need to allocate at least three days posting consistently. And by the way, if 30 days seems, oh my God, it's impossible, do it at least for seven days. See how it works. See what, what will you notice, what kind of trends, dynamics you will observe that works for your business. And it also shows you what kind of post got the most reach and what kind of post got the reaction, meaning that you can post 
more of it. And when you go through the cello process, when you collect your matrix, then you evaluate your numbers. So you will see what type of pose got the reach, uh, what type of pose got the engagement. It's important that you do it with love, without judging yourself, or oh, I should have done better, or I haven't reached these results. Even like you post it for 30 days and you see that nothing has changed. It's an invitation to dig deeper. There is no reason to feel disappointed or discouraged. It just numbers show you that something needs to be changed. And it's just this understanding what you can change. If you have any questions around this, please post them in the comments or I invite you to try our membership for 10 days and ask questions. I will look at your numbers specifically during our weekly call and I will be able to assist you individually, giving you recommendations what you need to do to improve the situation. If you haven't downloaded my free document yet, Numbers Party, the cello process guide, I would highly recommend it will take you through the steps, not just how to work with Facebook and Instagram. And by the way, Meta Business Suite shows you your numbers on Instagram as well. We focused more on Facebook, but you can apply the same principles on Instagram. And inside the documents, I show you also how to read your metrics on Pinterest and YouTube. If you like this video, please click like button on YouTube. If you want to see more interviews with intuitive business entrepreneurs, social media growth tips, this is a channel for you. Make sure that you subscribe. Talk to you very soon. It was Inga. Thank you for watching this video.